be gone, especially in Hollywood. We told you earlier this week that Chris Rock and his wife of nearly 20 years are getting a divorce. And celebrity chef and Vegas restaurant owner Jada De Laurentiis and her husband Todd also filing for a divorce. And after just 10 months of marriage, Jeremy Renner's wife has also filed for divorce as well. So, you know, it's easy to get married, but it's a lot different to get divorced. <laughs> you can't seem to get troubles in the house in order. And obviously, finances come into play big time. So yes. our financial expert, of course, Rochelle Shaw is here. Thanks for being here. Hi, in the hi new happy year. new year. Happy yes, new year. I know people are starting out 2015. Some people are splitting up and maybe mm. that's a good thing. They'll be happier in this new year, but sure. finances are tough because how do you split things up? Well, you know, as I was thinking about this, I was like, you know, one person always is prepared and the other person isn't. So somebody has been thinking about it for a while. Mm. It's normally the person that files, right? And the other one's kind of hit blindsided. So, you know, the, there's several things that I always like to make sure that one person is doing you know, the other person before they come and hit you over the head. Okay, so what is your what is your plan? Yeah, so the first thing is make sure that you have some type of separate mailing address. So I like to get a P.O. box. <laughs> you is know. this for the person who's starting to contemplate, wow, things aren't going so well, yes. maybe I should start to protect myself, not be sneaky or dishonest with my partner, but just start to be a little bit smart? Absolutely, and, and you know well before the divorce comes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the person that's ready to leave knows long before they actually make that decision. Absolutely. So it's, it's um, you need to have your own accounts, you need to set them up separately, and you need them to go somewhere else so that they're not coming to the house. Do you think you should do that anyway in marriage, just to have people have joint you know people can do anything they want to with their money have separate or joint but yes. maybe just each have your own little like funds whether Absolutely. it's like gifts for each other or to protect yourself in case something happens. Absolutely. Well, there's nothing worse than to go look at the credit card statement and see what, what your guy get, got you, right? And you're <laughs> like, like, I basically bought it myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you don't want that. So yes, you always want to have separate bank accounts for you and then a joint one for the family. For the fam for the household, okay. Absolutely. Also, you say, take some inventory of what you've got, right? Yes, and you should always know, you know, the, the biggest challenge with relationships are that they're not, um, the communication isn't great, mm -hmm. okay? And especially not when it comes to money. So you need to know what's going on. What money do you have? What money's in accounts? And then start really reviewing those to make sure that, that nothing pops up. Okay. Also, yeah. too, you've got to start preparing because the legal expenses, divorce ain't cheap. It can be very spending. It's not. It's not cheap. And you want to make sure that you have enough so that you have, get proper representation. Yes. Right? The last thing you want is the worst, the bad lawyer in the lot because then you won't get what you're worth. And you said open accounts in your new name. So you have just your own separate identity, right? Yes, yes, and, and make sure, you know, that's after things have gone on, but you, you need to have it in the name, in the legal entity name that you have, and that's gonna take you some time to change your license, change your social security, but don't leave it in your married name and stuff that he can have access to, and do it at a different bank. You know, if you do it oh. at the same bank, that makes it even crazier. They, they might know your spouse and say, oh Absolutely. yeah, of course you have access to this account. Yes. And also on that note, you said too, you should know your credit report. And I, there's so much yeah. back and forth, there's a lot of commercials right now. I was always told that to have good credit, you shouldn't be checking your credit score all the time because that can ding you. But well, there's free because, ways to do it now, okay. right? And you, and you want to definitely set up for a credit monitoring service because you want to know if he's out there buying new cars and stuff Hurting in your, your credit, name. Yeah. Absolutely. So this will allow you to catch it very quickly and not be surprised later. And, you know, even as you said with Chris Rock, and he was the one who, who 20 years, but, you know, he did stints over and over about how divorce is so awful and yeah. how marriage is so awful. And, you know, he did the, the famous joke about, you know, Nelson Mandela. You know, he's like, look, he was in jail 27 years. He gets out and gets six to... months, six months, and he gets a divorce. I know. So it's it's always tough, and if you're not setting everything up for you, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it's nice to be in love, and it's really nice to love your spouse. However, self preservation is so important. That's why they say put the the mask on you first. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> when you're in the airplane. Yeah. In other words, like take care of you before your kids. I'm like. Because if you pass out, there's no help. Wait, what's the anyway. kid gonna do? Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. So take care of you first, and then it makes the marriage much nicer when you know that you are secure. Okay, Jason, did you get all that written down? That's good stuff. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs>